George R. R. Martin is a writer I both love and hate. From his own unprecedented creative ego, to consider himself the talking of a generation which he is far from, to someone who has kicked people out of events and things for dare questioning why he has not finished his goddamn book. Now this is my thing, I am a fan. I like a lot of his work, but I am so sick of waiting. I'm over it. And I think a big part of that problem with George R. Martin is his nihilistic attitude towards life. Nihilism can be a positive thing, but in his case it's a negative and it casts a shadow over his storytelling that really does show. And please like, subscribe and do the usual. Now, Martin as a storyteller is one of these people, and we're going to go into that, that tends to just torture his characters. Who's going to end up unalive next? So, let's go into it. George R. R. Martin's magnus opus, A Song of Ice and Fire, is renowned for its storytelling and morally ambiguous characters. However, lurking beneath that lies a an undertone of nihilism that casts a shadow over the entire narrative. And as a reader, sometimes the despair and disillusionment of the characters gets a bit to me. Like, I like Grim Dark, but can we not just do that? Martin's ruthless portrayal of the world devoid of hope at Westeros and Essos, it's areas where tactics and betrayal reign supreme. Characters are locked in this never-ending cycle of suffering and misery. There's no act of heroism or sacrifice goes unpunished. The notion of redemption is nothing more than an illusion. Endless bleakness to these books and characters that does question why humanity seems to be devoid in his work sometimes. Where everyone seems to be out for each other's blood. Everyone is out for each other's revenge. And there seems to be no serving of this sometimes. Sometimes it's just there more as a plot device than actually characterization, and you need to balance the two. Many of his characters are forced to confront the harsh reality that their life is ultimately meaningless. Moreover, Martin's moral landscape is a moral wasteland. It's devoid of any semblance of righteousness or virtues. Characters who embody noble ideas, such as honour, are brutally crushed under the weight of their own principles. While those who embrace cruelty in the cutthroat world of Westeros are celebrated and succeed. And again, there is place for that in fiction, but it often feels out of balance in his. The morally blurred lines between right and wrong, it, it leaves a lot of characters morally adrift, and it does cause inconsistent characterization across his completed or nearly completed series. It frustrates me because sometimes a moral compass is what some of these characters need to fill in the gap. Now, Martin's taste for graphic violence and scenes of torture, rape and mutilation are described with gratuitous detail, serving no purpose half the time other than to shock and horrify the audience. I do feel like some of these scenes within his work purely exist to shock the reader. They're not there to move a story along, or to end a character. They are there to make people go, well, this is happening, that's happening, and so on. The shock value of his work sometimes outweighs the character's narrative, and there are whole threads on the internet dedicated to who had the worst death, who did this, who did that, why is this person still alive? When will they die? And it gets annoying. I wish sometimes in his writing he would stop this kind of... It's almost called a Martinism at this point. And it really does frustrate me as a reader. I think a lot of the... <clears throat> shock value content of these books... It kind of makes us numb to it, where the shocking ends and 
and violent acts don't feel particularly shocking anymore. They happen in the books and we carry on reading, and often leave no emotional residence because we are completely de desensitised to it. We're seeing stuff like this in the news every day. We see people unalived in the worst possible ways hourly on television. Can we have some hope, maybe? I think the most uh, annoying aspect of Martin's nihilism is its influence on popular culture. The huge success of Game of Thrones, it, Martin's bleak viewpoint has become increasingly normalised. And what I find interesting is that now so many books emulate the Game of Thrones. They emulate that style and often more shock value. And I think normalising nihilism within literature and media has not been a good thing. I think there are so many books that I've read where character were clearly influenced by the Game of Thrones, but there's no possibility of positive change. There's no possibility of hope. And if anything, many characters now just feel apathetic, rather than actually giving something much deeper. Now, I think his nihilistic viewpoint has cast a long shadow over his works. I think the universe sometimes feeling so bleak and hopeless, I think it often just feels like more shock value. Who is depressed this week? Who is Jon Snow sitting moping in a corner? Why is Lady Stoneheart still savaging for revenge at any cost? And if you don't know who Lady Stoneheart is, Google her, she's fabulous big change that I really wish they'd incorporated into the TV show that was left to the books only. I think a lot of his works is a grim reminder of the inherent darkness within the human soul. I think as humans we are dark creatures and we do enjoy suffering regardless of what people say. We enjoy it. George R. R. Martin's nihilism I think is his biggest problem, and I think his artist's ego, I think his inability to actually focus on one project, and the constant reminder that George R. R. Martin seems to come across as some egotistical asshole. It's boring. Give us the final books. Get them out. Because you're 75, George. You're not an angsty teenager. And if it takes you this long to write... This book, that's apparently 1,500 pages, how are you, the hell are you going to write the final book? Because this is ridiculous. And again, and just a reminder to the reader and the viewer, I do enjoy Martin's work. I own a lot of his books and a beautiful hardback editions of The Game of Thrones and a beautiful illustrated edition of the first book. But sometimes, the feeling that the world he has created is an endless circle of despair and depravity, with no hope, nothing else. It's just what it is. So, tell me what you think in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later, and have a wonderful day.